Puzzle sales are soaring during the pandemic as families try to stay busy at home. But until recently, the industry was missing a critical piece. See, we did that. Omar Villafranca shows us how one brother and sister duo decided to take action after they discovered a lack of representation in puzzles. There it goes. Good. It takes sharp attention to detail to put together puzzles, something William Jones and Erica Chambers have been doing since they were kids growing up in North Texas. I really love to like look at the detail of every piece where you kind of see like the strokes of the, the brush. And there were a lot of little pieces. Every winter, they'd tackle bigger challenges from 250 to 500 to 1,000 piece puzzles. We're three years apart and we spend a lot of time, you know, with our own friends doing our own thing. And so this was the thing that got us together. But even after all the tabs were connected, they felt the puzzles were still missing a piece. A lot of our puzzles that we ended up picking were like cartoons, like, you know, we had a Bart Simpson and a Mickey Mouse. It wasn't like anything particularly that represented us as a, you know, as people of color. That sparked an idea, which became Puzzles of Color, a small business they started during the pandemic. Corporate offices are in Erica's garage. The pandemic has not paused their puzzle production. Just push it through here, hit the little green button. Sometimes it sticks onto the board pretty good. Whoa. And so there it is. There you have a puzzle. Puzzles of Color finds artwork depicting black culture created by artists of color and puts them on puzzles, like Kwanzaa Edwards painting titled To Be Loved. Did you ever think that your artwork would be part of kind of a new expression for black culture? When I saw the picture of it put together, I started squealing like, oh my God. Oh, somebody actually put it together and enjoyed it. It's really just rewarding, just knowing that people can interact with it in a way that is different than just going to a gallery or just seeing it online. Daryl Hill just bought one of the puzzles for his three-year-old son, Micah. Do you like doing puzzles? Why? Daryl lets Micah be a kid, but feels it's also important for his son to see other people who look like him when he plays. With the puzzle that I bought, it, it looked like somebody that looks like him, you know? As he's growing up, I need him to know that he's represented in culture. Erica and William are ramping up production and hope their small business can fill a missing piece in a bigger cultural puzzle. It's all about that representation. You don't feel like an other. You feel like you are part of the world that you live in. 500 to 1,000 pieces at a time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. 500 pieces of culture. For CBS This Morning, Omar Villafranca, Little Elm, Texas. Great. Bravo, Love Erica that. and yeah, William. Give yourself a round of applause. You don't really think about it. No. When you're, when, I used to buy puzzles all the time as a kid, and you don't think. I remember as a little girl, the first time I got a black doll, I didn't want one because I thought, ooh. It's because different. It's yeah. different. Yeah. You don't want to be the other. And the fact that they are now showing uh, puzzles of culture, what do what they call it? Puzzles of puzzles color. Of color puzzles, yeah. puzzles of color. I, um, I think it's, it's really so important. I think it's, it's, a, it's great that they're doing it. But yes. what I love even more is the pictures are awesome. Yes, right? yes. And, that's and on a, on a different process. but related topic, I didn't know that's how you make puzzles. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what I would have told you, but you yeah. put it through a machine and she mixes them up before it goes the in the box. The process of the that. garage. You go, brother and sister. I like that, Eric and William. Very, very nice. You're watching CBS This Morning. I need to get me one of them puzzles. We'll be yeah. right back.